gymnastics is one of the most beautiful of all sporting events. It helps girls achieve poise, confidence, and healthy figures. In the beginning stages of gymnastics, the only equipment needed is a floor mat. The clothing should allow complete freedom of movement. Leotards are ideal. Each practice session should begin with limbering up exercises. These might be straddle stretches and bridges. The forward roll is the first of several rolls to be learned. Begin in a squatting position with the hands flat in front. Duck the head under and roll. Grab the knees on the way over. The backward roll is similar. Start in a squatting position, again with the head down. Roll back, being sure to keep the back rounded. Place the hands by the ears and push off. Almost all children have tried to do cartwheels. The proper way is to start with one foot pointed and the arms like this. Place the hands and feet close together and in a straight line. The leg should remain straight and should pass directly overhead. Similar to the cartwheel is the round off. Begin the round off with the hands turned slightly. Bring the legs together at the top and land with the feet like this. It's good practice to rebound or bounce when landing. Kick up one leg at a time to a handstand. The arm should be straight. Then duck the head, bend the arms, and roll. The back should be rounded. Now grab the legs to come up. The final roll is the backward roll extension. It starts like a regular back roll, but here the arms are straightened and the legs extend straight up. Most new stunts should be learned with the assistance of a spotter. Students should learn to spot for each other so the class can progress faster. But remember, never try a new stunt until your instructor says you're ready for it. The forward limber, next step to learn. Kick up to a handstand, keeping the head back. Now limber over, bringing the feet as close to the hands as possible. Come up with arms straight and close to the ears. Then the back limber. Similar to the limber is a walkover. In both forward and back walkovers, the leg should be spread and the arms should remain straight and close to the head. In learning handsprings, the student should always start with a spotter who is strong and experienced. Take two steps and a skip. The arms are about shoulder width apart. The head is up. Now flip over, landing with the knees bent. Practice this many times with a spotter before trying it alone. For the backhand spring, stand straight with the arms in front. Then bring them back. Bend the knees and spring upward. At the same time, throw the arms upward and back. Throw the head back and look for the floor. Snap the legs down quickly like a mule kick. 
Watch it again in slow motion. The arms should be straight all the way. Practice this again and again. We have now completed the basic tumbling. Let's review each step. Forward roll. Handstand forward roll. Limber. Walk over. Front handspring. And the same steps done backwards. Backward roll. Back roll extension. Back limber. Back walk over. Back handspring. And this leaves only the cartwheel and the round off. Of course, many variations and connections are possible. These tumbling basics can now be applied directly to several events in competitive gymnastics. The balance beam, the side horse vault, free exercise. Some of the tumbling can be applied to the uneven parallel bars. However, additional fundamentals should be learned. Chalk or carbonated magnesia is necessary to give a dry, safe grip. There are three grips to be used on the bars, the overgrip, the under grip, and the mixed grip. One of the easiest ways to mount a bar is the hip pullover. Start with an over grip, lift both legs up and over the bar, and end in a support position with arms straight, head up, and back slightly arched. Good form requires that the toes should be pointed whenever the feet are free. The next mount to be learned is the single knee swing up. Swing both legs upward, squat one leg through, end in a single knee support position. A more difficult mount, but a very important one, is the glide kip. Watch it again in slow motion. Glide. Stand at about arm's length from the lower bar. Jump, grab the bar, and raise the legs in front. Note that from now on, the arms and legs must remain straight. Now glide forward and straighten out by extending the hips upward. Quickly snap the ankles up to the bar, then shoot them upward and outward as the body swings up to a support position. In order to understand the movement in a kip, try it on the floor using a pole to represent the bar. Keeping the arms and legs straight, hold the bar close to the ankles. Now bring the bar up the legs, always keeping it close to the legs. Watch the glide kip again in slow motion. And now at normal speed. There are many ways to circle a bar. To mention a few, the knee circle, 
crouch circle or leg circle, seat circle, and hip circle. Of course, these can all be done forward or backward. The hip circle is widely used in competition with many variations. It is usually begun from the upper bar. Note that although the height of the bars is fixed and should not be changed, the lower bar may be moved in or out to fit the individual. Swing gently and wrap the legs around the bar. Be sure to keep the body straight until you feel the bar. If you bend too soon, it could result in bruised hips. Bending the legs as you touch the bar will help to absorb the shock. After the timing is right, try the full circle. With one leg, push off hard. As the legs wrap around, let go of the top bar and grab the lower bar. End in a front support. A more advanced variation is to follow the hip circle with an eagle catch. If you're a beginner, you won't be trying this for a while. Dismounts are just as numerous as mounts. Some of the basic dismounts are forward roll, little drop, and big drop. And just for fun, here is a very advanced dismount called a hect. We've only shown a few of the fundamental moves of gymnastics. Other moves may be learned by attending gymnastics clinics or competitions. While boys' events feature strength and balance, girls should not allow their strength to show. Girls should feature graceful, fluid movements. If there is a formula for becoming a fine gymnast, it is a great deal of practice with an emphasis on form. A background of dancing is very helpful. The safety rule, which we cannot afford to forget, is this. Try new skills only when your instructor says you are ready for them, and then always with a reliable spotter. Gymnastics is a rapidly growing and an ever-changing sport. With practice and dedication, you might help to set the pace.